hello guys what's up with you i bring you greetings i believe you are faring well now i want to thank you all for your support and rallying behind me all this while if you are new on this channel and you haven't subscribed to this channel i'll be very glad if you subscribe to it that is if you find this video and the content on this channel appealing to you I'll be very glad if you subscribe to this channel now if you take your time and go through the videos on this channel you realize that I provide problems to physics mathematics and chemistry related problems not only that I also provide detailed and simplified lesson notes or lessons to these areas so like I said if this content appeals to you I'll be very glad if you leave a subscription and also recommend the content on the channel to others so in this video we have to solve for the value of X in the equation square root of 2 X minus 4 is equal to negative 4 now I want you to pause for a moment and take critical look at this question and let me know how to go about it in the comment section now if you take a look at this question there is a high tendency of thinking that it is a straightforward problem or the answer or the solution is straightforward if you take a look at this you think that solving this is not difficult it's just straightforward but i want to submit to you that perhaps the solution you have in mind may not be the correct solution so if you are thinking of let's say squaring both sides and making x the subject then i want to submit to you that it is not the right approach to solve this problem why am I saying so? Okay, let, let's let's apply the conventional way of solving this. The conventional way of solving this is by squaring both sides. So if we square both sides, we'll end up with we'll end up with two x minus four is equal to sixteen. So two x becomes sixteen plus four and therefore 2x becomes 20 and hence x is equal to 10 okay so if we are to apply the conventional way of solving this we are to get 10 now for every equation after you have determined the value of the variable you need to go back and check if it will satisfy the equation so if x is equal to 10 let's see something here if x is equal to 10 we'll get square root of 2 into bracket 10 minus 4 2 into bracket 10 minus 4 so this will give us square root of 20 minus 4 which is square root of 16 square root of 16 is 4 square root of 16 is 4 and if you take a look at this 4 is not the same as negative 4 so what it means is that x is equal to 10 is not going to be the ideal solution or the correct solution to this problem as a matter of fact this entire equation has no real solution it has no real solution so i want us to explore if perhaps we can get a solution for this problem because that is the aim of this video so having known that this equation has no real solution it is ideal to think that it may have a complex solution so let's find a way of solving this so to solve this problem the first thing i want us to do is to rewrite negative 4 
is to rewrite negative 4. Now, to rewrite negative 4, negative 4 is the same as 4 complex root squared. And why is that so? It is so because simplify this entire thing gives us negative 4. So let's 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 get into that. Now, i which is a complex number is square root of negative 1. Square root of negative 1 is i. So this is the same as 4 times square root of i is square root of negative 1 all squared. And so this will give us 4 the square root the square cancels that and we level 4 times negative 1 which is negative 4 so what it means is that we can rewrite negative 4 as 4 i squared so what it means is that i can say that square root of 2x minus 4 is the same as 4 i squared so if that is the case I can go ahead and square both sides so if I square both sides if we square both sides we'll end up with 4i squared all this squared so that gives us 2x minus 4 is equal to the square affects the 4 so that will be 16 and then the square affects the i squared so that will be I exponent 4 I exponent 4 so making X a subject we get 2 X is equal to 16 I exponent 4 plus 4 and so dividing both sides by 2 will end up with X is equal to 16 I exponent 4 plus 4 all these divided by 2 so x will now give us 16 i exponent 4 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2 so x will yield 8 i exponent 4 plus 2 so actually this is the value of x now let's just test let's just test x is equal to i exponent 4 plus 2 using the equation using the equation so to test that we are going to get square root of 2 into bracket 8i exponent 4 plus 2 now this minus 4 so this will give us square root of 16 i exponent 4 plus 4 minus 4 and so this will give us square root of 4 minus 4 is 0 so we'll be left with 16 i exponent 4 and so if we have this we can break it down we can break this down to have square root of 16 times square root of i exponent 4 square root of 16 is 4 times i as square root of i exponent 4 is the same as square root of i squared what you have here squared so that will give us 4 times this square cancels that and we'll be left with i squared and this will give us 4 times now i is the same as square root of negative one so all this squared so we'll be left with the square cancels the square root and we'll be left with four times negative one and this gives us negative four and negative four is the same as what we have at the right hand side so the actual value of x is x is equal to eight i exponent four plus two thank you for watching this video and please let me know what you think about this video the approach i have used and if there is any other approach we can use for this i'll be very glad to see that in the comment section thank you once again bye bye